through a series of unrelated events, we have two hot dog buns and no hot dogs. We had, at the beginning of the week, one hot dog and two buns, but we took that solitary wiener on a camping trip with us in an ice chest with ice, and it was left in the bed of the truck, and by the time we opened up the chest to retrieve the frankfurter, it was floating in a body of water. It and was it, too late. And it didn't look appetizing. So now, instead it's of... It's 1020 at night and we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we have. So, two hot dog buns, no hot dog. What should we eat? Hot dog bun French toast. We have eggs. We have eggs. You smell that? Oh man, that's a nice smelling hot dog bun. Mmm, that's a great, that's a great bun. So we'll crack some eggs. Get going on this. Did you crack the egg on this? <laughs> Somebody should clean that up. Two eggs. Vanilla. Just a touch. How about a splash? Mix up the eggs, a little bit of milk. The milk expired four days ago. Really need to go to the store. So there's the slurry of tasty French toast made salt. A little you? salt. Mm. My hands are kind of slimy. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like this. <laughs> I'll be up all night. <laughs> that that looks delicious. Mmm, eggs. I think it'll crystallize when we try to fry these up. And... I don't think that you want those slimy bits. I think I want a replay of the sugar. Haha, <laughs> now back again. Okay, this, this looks promising now. Did you see it when you put that sugar in and that, that clump? Roll tape. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be good. Should I use butter or cooking spray? Cooking spray, it's in your hand. It's okay. 1020 at night. 1022. Okay. Are you blessing it or are you, what are you doing? Oh, hula dance. Do you have some holy water? So this will actually be not two, but four individual pieces of French toast delicacy. I'm thrilled. I want if one my maths for are myself. Correct. Are my maths correct? I believe so, and there's a bonus. Oh, well, oh, but it's, it's not, not really a bonus. Not really a it's bonus. It's just a detail. That's a let off with its head. Oh, these are like French toast sticks. Have you ever had French toast People sticks? People pay extra for French French toast sticks, at, I think. At Burger King, have you had the French toast sticks? I have. They're, they're delightful. Here we go. This is a true French toast stick. Ooh. The Burger King French toast stick does not bear any resemblance to actual French toast. Makes me wonder what the chicken nuggets are really made out of. They look like Twinkies. Should I push them? Um, they would probably just slide, just slide, slide really easily on that non-stick surface. You don't want them to burn though. Ooh, that, that looks pretty good. It smells like French toast. We should have put cinnamon. You know what? We're only halfway through. It's not too late. Let's cinnamify. Cinnamon, my love. Cinnamon, my love. Cinnamon, my love. The cinnamon. Have you heard that you cannot eat a spoonful of cinnamon? Or it's very difficult? I have heard that's not that the, will be another video. And it's not the taste. 
it's not the taste that the trouble is. It's mm. the surface area of all the minuscule little particles. It, it just clogs everything up. It's like... Mm. <laughs> can you give me a plate, please? So I can put these somewhere. Well, you can put them somewhere. I think you want to put them somewhere specific. The plate. <laughs> that, one, that one has extra flavor. <laughs> I almost caught that. <laughs> Boy, I wish I would have had footage of that. Did you see the sugar? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> those are good. Well, you haven't tried them yet, so they just look Look at the they texturing. Look good. Give them a nice bath. Yeah, they're getting pretty soggy. We still have a lot of stuff left. What else can we French toastify? Does anybody use bread for this stuff? <gasps> How about a French, French toast pop tart? Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. Another reason I really felt compelled to make good use of these hot dog buns was the fact that when we bought the hot dogs, we bought hot dog buns at the same time. I brought the hot dogs into the refrigerator, but I forgot about the buns, left them in the truck overnight in the bed, exposed. The next morning, would you believe it, I came out and the bag was torn open and a critter had gotten in there and eaten a couple of the hot dog buns and tainted the rest. Actually, I came out. You? Oh, you found them. Yeah, you found them. I only witnessed them after the fact. Um, but regardless, you'd have to be a pretty hungry little critter to go after hot dog buns. I think I'd rather eat... Boy, that's, that's, that's a hungry critter. What about my Pop-Tart? Mmm. Ew, that, that, that does not look delicious. Turn the, turn the heat down a little bit there, dearest. So I'm like it hot. Ooh. It's, it's... I'll save that for you. I'm making it for me. Yeah. Don't, don't uh, discount that which you do not understand. To give negative criticism is always easier than to give positive comments. I kind of wish we had a Twinkie. I was thinking the same thing when I saw those little buggers nestled in this pan cooking. I, they don't, do they make Twinkies anymore? Hostess went I, out I of business. Think, ooh, that's uh... I, it's smoking. I think we're done. We're done here. I don't want that to touch my, my French toast. Oh, what a girl. Now this is a 1030 snack fit for a couple of champions. Hmm. I still have some eggy, sugary bits left. Animal crackers. Looks like the animals are stuck in some quicksand. Oh no! This is probably going to be a mess. A delicious mess. One escapee. These animals never expected this. A French toast safari. And that should just about do it. And now we feast a smorgasbord of breakfast delicacies. First some syrup.
delightful. And don't forget the animal crackers. <laughs> These brave souls perished for our eating enjoyment. I'm trying Pop Tart. I think that might be the best thing I've ever tasted. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> That's one of those food guys that they always go, mmm. I could eat that. I could really eat that. You are eating that. So, the pop tart, that's a pass, definitely. Now, a hot dog bun. That's delicious. That's delicious. Go ahead and try it, dear. That's good, isn't it? Oh, that is good. Try the Pop-Tart. No. It's not a spider. It's not a creepy crawly. Oh, that's good to know that it's a Pop-Tart and not a spider. It won't come out and bite you. You don't know what you're missing. You need to try new things. Okay, I'll try the Pop-Tart. It has fruit filling, you know. Oh, so this is healthy. It's this a fruit. It is. That counts as a fruit. Nutritious eating is my forte. And for the animal crackers, this is almost like a salad. We'll call this our salad. Vegetables. I don't think I recommend French toast pop tarts. Animal crackers, a little dry. You didn't soak them long enough. Well, this is the salad dish. I never like the salad dish anyway. And that's how, with just a little bit of imagination, you can bring some neglected pantry items to the forefront of a gourmet meal. Thanks for watching. As the man of the house, I take pride in providing for my family. <laughs>